Hello my friends, uh, welcome back to the uh, perpetual randomizer for Wings of Liberty. We're going to be jumping to Tyriador, where apparently the fates have decided that we are going for the Zeus Lander, even though we didn't roll for it. Still don't exactly know what happened there, I assume it has to do with the fact that I updated the mod. Uh, little quirks can happen, I hope that it doesn't continue happening, but uh, we will see. So, the Zeus Lander is apparently a unit that was scrapped in early development for Heart of the Swarm that was... Uh, Supposed to be for, like, Warfield's Fortress in the campaign. And it didn't make it in. It is some sort of Hercule with some sort of guns, but I don't know the details beyond that. So I'm excited to learn with you guys. Additionally, I'm going to ask that people today are a little bit chill with the fact that I'm not going to play perfectly. This is because I had to uh, replace my mouse. And for anyone who has ever had to replace their mouse and then play StarCraft, you know that things are just a little bit off. And it takes, like, all of your brain power, because <laughs> everything is a little bit off. Oh, here they come. Hmm. So they, ha they have an anti-ground, or an anti-air gun. They have no anti-ground capabilities. It doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but it attacks very quick, like battlecruiser speed. So that seems to be pretty decent. Uh, I think that, I think this might be, oh gosh. <laughs> we rescued so much supply worth of stuff. <laughs> Let's, uh... Get this going. How much is it? It is 300 minerals, 200 gas, and 4 supply. Which honestly is very cheap. How much capacity does it have? About the same as a Hercules. And... Oh, it's got a real slow turning radius. Oh, never mind. If you do it real tight, then it can uh, go pretty well. It's slow. Okay, so the big thing is that it is slow. Having the ability to shoot air is actually really good, though. I kind of feel like this unit might be... Might be legit? I don't know if I'm crazy. But it definitely... It doesn't feel like a unit that you're going to mass as a combat unit or something, but being able to support the units after you drop them is the one thing that the Hercules is really lacking. Right? So, uh, the Medivac obviously has the ability you drop infantry and then you can actually fight with them which was really, really good. And this has that same level of support going on, just in a different way. If you're being chased down, particularly with our still average at best anti-air capabilities, I kind of feel like this is a very nice addition to our team. Now, this mission is going to be a very quick one, obviously. I'm going to get a replicator. We're going to see if we can replicate Kerrigan, first of all. I mean, we're, uh... <laughs> Why wouldn't we? It's worth a shot. But uh, after that, we are just going to build up a nice little group of guys. We're going to get some Quilgore. They're pretty qu cheap. Should be able to blast through all of this. Yeah, I mean, as you can see, the cannon's doing the majority of the damage, but these guys are here. These guys are helping. And that's really all that you can ask for. I actually feel safe enough that we're going to just go and try to do this first area. I think what we want to do is, like, drop you here... Oh, it's O for unload. Okay, uh, we'll have to deal with that. And then get you guys here. And it seems to have some landing ability, too, so... Oh, but it's uh, it's also bound to load. <laughs> well, we're going to land this guy right here and see what happens. Very cool. Um, Removes the attack and is just cinematic in nature. And you know what? I'm fine with that. It looks neat. <laughs> <laughs> Not something that has a whole lot of value. If we're being chased, then maybe landing actually could avoid, like, some corruptors or something. But I don't see it having too much long-term value. All right, Kerrigan. Go, go, go. Is it called Speedy Boy? <laughs> nice. Nope. Nope. Yay! <laughs> Wait! What happens if we morph a replicant into an overseer? <laughs> what happens when the timer expires? Oh, well, we're going to be learning something one moment. Uh, it became an overseer. I don't know what I expected. Okay, we got to get this guy over here, and then we have to unload. We have a couple of quill gore. We can get some war pigs to defend. And then you guys come on over. Uh, this has all been dealt with. Our army is looking pretty good at this point. It is, it's big, but it is hitting hard. 
I am, I'm pretty happy with this faction. I know it's like a joke, but it's a pretty good joke. It's one of those ones that you like legitimately guffaw at. Yeah, like we can just send the Zeus lander over, help this guy out, and then do the evac. I kind of love it. What a good unit. This is exactly the thing that we needed for this faction, I think. Just a little bit of mobility. People were calling it the Zoolander in the comments, and I think that's hilarious. So, it's our... This is our Zoolander. It's, uh, it's really good. What is under attack? Oh, just whatever. We're gonna get, uh, maybe one or two more of these. Not needing a fusion core and not needing a tech lab is also just real nice for the accessibility factor, right? Like... These are the type of accessibility features that we need in gaming. Less uh, arbitrary tech requirements for our dropship. Thank you. That and better colorblind mode. Let's uh, drop that there. He's here. Oh, you know what? We just wanna. We just wanna get these mercenaries out. I think. Siege breakers should hit really hard, right? I don't remember if we looked at them before, but, like, they get a huge bonus to damage, and these Quilgore actually do decent damage on their own. Like, more so than a tank does, I think. Either that or my standards have just completely changed throughout this game. I guess we'll make Pigalisks and Ursidons. I shouldn't have canceled them. These do... <laughs> 50 some damage weapon speed 1.15 i'm pretty sure that's worse than the siege breaker but it's so good compared to everything else my standards have changed and i love it okay you guys here let's uh try to get these scantipede mercenaries and then i think we're about ready to go on the warpath and start crushing through can we can we fit all these units in here oh, i love the hercules Oh, it's so good. You guys come on in. Ooh, uh, one interesting thing that is worth paying attention to is the fact that these guys do not go over to their target when you select to move in. That is just going to be a little bit of weirdness that we have to deal with. Obviously not the end of the world, but it's worth noting. So yeah, we're going to be able to head just right on over here, and oh no, we're being hit by a corruptor, except for the fact that we start unloading, and then we should be able to just blow up the Corruptor. These have a lot of HP. That is one thing that is very nice about them. One of the reasons I don't like the medevac in the campaign is because it's pretty non-durable, and it's your only flyer for the most part if you're going for infantry, which means that they take a lot of damage and can't repair themselves. These also cannot repair themselves, but they have the durability to make it okay. So honestly, I am... I'm getting all in on the Zeus train at this point. Let's, uh, find something to copy. Oh, I'm a Hydralisk now. Look at me. Wish I could upgrade to a Lurker. All right, we got this. And we are going to head to the final objective now. Uh, this obviously is a quick mission. It's one of the fastest missions in StarCraft. And as a result, we are going to finish it and then we're going to uh go do another mission because why not we can do the tosh mission people in the comments were saying that jim gets your units which is very funny i'm excited to see so that'll be that'll be a fun little treat those are just roachlings uh, those war pigs don't want to die though let's get our zerg upgrades this will be the last zerg research that we need i believe and then we can take all this down. We gotta be a little bit careful on spacing here, because we have to get a good surround. So yeah, pull him up. Then we can take him down very, very quickly. And let's go rescue some more friends. I love how this guy can jump down the cliff, but then he has to walk around to get back up. That's so silly. Alright, you two guys, come on up here. You guys here. I do find it funny that, like, the highest tier unit that we've unlocked by far is the dropship. <laughs> Everything else is, like, bad meme tier units. I guess the Ascendant is decent. But it's not even considered good in Legacy of the Void. <laughs> it's just good compared to what we have. And then the one unit that's, like, destruction deity tier is <laughs> the dropship. Uh... 
Yeah, we just walk over here. We don't even care. Okay, we are going to lose this one, but the unit should pop out. Yep, and then we just click on that. And finish it off. Easy and a little bit peasy. <laughs> Ten minutes for a mission. Real time, not game time, obviously. Oh yeah, here's my bots! Beautiful. Get them, bots. Alrighty, let's uh, check out what we got for the next mission. And I'm going to check right now to make sure that the... I think it was Hell's Angels that we had before didn't get auto-rerolled. Because if it did, I'm going to have to do some tech support, you know what I mean? I'm going to have to figure out exactly what is going on. Good. It is the same as normal. So, we're going to do New Folsom next. But for the next mission, what we will have to pick between is Typhon with the Winged Nightmare, which is an Elite Wraith, or we're re-rolling... Where'd my re-roll button go? Uh... My re-roll button is gone. Oh, there it is. Found it. <laughs> oh, I bet it's if you click that or something when you... I don't know. Doesn't matter. Reroll. Game crashed. Okay, I'll see you in a moment. I gotta stitch these VODs together. Hey, I'm back. Uh, I took a look at the footage, and definitely what happened was uh, they, the mod was not designed around clicking on New Folsom and then going back to the other ones and doing whatever I did. So we're just going to reroll right now. All right. You know what? The Destroyer is actually pretty good. I'm not offended with that. It is not as much of a meme unit in Wings of Liberty. Okay, uh, New Folsom. Let's uh, go here. And then our unit options are... The Impaler or the Lurker, but people wanted to see the Tosh mission, so it looks like we are going to Impale. Let's, uh, let's see how this mission goes as a pure Impaler boy. Yeah, I'm really not offended by the Destroyer. Like, it is, eh, it's not even a meme unit. It's just a bad unit in Legacy of the Void, because everyone gets their upgrades way too quick. But in Wings Liberty, they don't, I think. So I think, I think we're in a... <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tosh. I can take out all uh, Okay. Well, we're an impaler. <laughs> Ooh. We still have mind blast. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh is an impaler better than what Tosh normally has? Also Yeah, okay. Oh, this mission's gonna be so easy. Dude, Ascendance? That's crazy. It's so good. That is a ridiculous power level. I am. I am very fascinated to see what happens here. We're gonna pop our way over here and. Oh, oh yeah, we can't approach without taking fire, so we're gonna have to shield a lot. But once Jim starts sending his waves, these guys are just gonna melt everything. Assuming they know how to use their abilities. <laughs> Hang in there, Tosh. Either that or they're going to be very bad. <laughs> like a little wiggly particle effect. This is so funny. Let's go, Mr. Impaler. Ow. And take this down. Come on over here. He is not using ability. Maybe he has to get to 75 energy. I'm just going to try to stun the enemies until then. No, no. Why is this your oh, Okay. <laughs> I can only do so much for him. <laughs> He's going to ignore the bunker and charge another one so that he can die. That is his uh, decision to make. Oh. You know what's going to suck? All the ravens on this mission. That's going to be brutal to deal with. Hmm. So uh, let's take a let's take a little thinksy think about what we have going on for this because obviously being burrowed as an impaler is pretty good having the range advantage I think we can, yeah we can hit these turrets from out of range which is really nice so he's gonna be sending ursidons and he's gonna be sending ascendants and then we get to the first prison thing 
Uh, where the... Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Uh, we'll see it when we see it. What is our Marauder equipment? I don't remember what our Marauder replacement was. I think that he sends Marauders eventually. Oh, Jim. I hope your guys aren't stuck. Ooh, ooh, Volatile Infested. That's actually really good. Yeah, because we re-rolled them. Oh, that could be really nice. Get some actual damage done there. I also, I think the Ursodons are pretty decent. Uh, they can definitely get on top and do some real damage. And they can potentially be better against Siege Tanks. However, I think that all in all, they're going to be pretty moot. And that is just par for the course. But if they can tank for the Volatile Infested to get on top of stuff, that'll be really good. And it will make up for the fact that the Ascendant seems to be unable to live his best life. Let's burn down these buildings. Come on over here. Come help me. Go beat him up. We gotta get uh, our HP really soon. If this guy just threw his orbs, he would be so amazing. Just be able to melt through everything, or his... Uh, he'd never get the energy for the psionic blast, but the orb is 75, I believe. So it's a little bit sad to see him not doing that, but it is what it is. Oh, wrong boom. A shame. Good work, Tosh. We're pushing on All right, EMP me, line. buddy. Thank you. Let's go get dinner. Honestly, I think that Tosh is really good. Like, I am not... I'm not unhappy with our Metamorph Tosh. It didn't give me consume when we got hit by the EMP. Uh-oh. No consume is really rough. That's gonna make things way harder. Well, oh, there we go. We just had to go a little bit farther forward. Just a little bit forward. Ooh, okay, this range is a little bit awkward. But what we should be able to do is blast through this turret and then shield up and get right here. Oh gosh, we lost a lot of HP there. But we can take down these repairing SCVs and then we'll be able to take everything else down. And it seems that we have a pretty good HP trickle going on, which is very nice to see. We can eat from these Ursodons every time they come by, and they actually give a lot of HP, or a lot of energy. And our HP went up. It is... Hmm. Okay. Tosh, you're nearing the first military <sighs> block now. Releasing the prisoners might buy us some allies. <laughs> This is either going to be the worst or the best thing ever, depending on if it can properly spawn allies. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have already seen the Ascendant, so I don't have high hopes. <laughs> but it is very funny. <laughs> oh. Man, uh, this, this guy's good. He just blasts everything. He doesn't have to go any weird secret paths. It's not like this was a big issue. Can we at least can... Biological. Must target units. Well, these aren't units, but maybe... I'm kind of hoping that it lets us, uh... Consume... The trucks, at least. Otherwise, they're going to be very, very bad. At least the next one should actually be really good. Ooh, we're going to need a lot of energy. Uh, we actually have to go back and get full energy, I believe, because there's going to be a raven up there, and we need to be able to take down the raven. And our only anti-air is Mind Blast. So we're going to get a decent number of them. Beautiful. That's, uh... That's perfect. It seems that these guys don't have my armory upgrades either, which is a bit of a shame. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess we one-shot Ravens with Mind Blast. I'll take it. That uh, That is a very nice consideration made by the mod maker <laughs> to make life a little bit less miserable. Very smart. Uh, 
I also noticed that the sandbags in front of bunkers were being destroyed when the bunker goes down. I don't know if that's normal on this mission, and it just never comes up as an important thing. But it does make the Ursidons way better. Once we... Because they obviously cannot fight right here. But once this goes down, then they can get on top of the juicy innards, and that makes life significantly easier. So I think that we're actually going to make really good time on this mission, despite the fact that we have two allied units that are just piles of garbage. Okay. Yeah, okay. There's no exception. We cannot consume. We can only be sad. Ooh, the snipes are big. Let's just get a little stun right here. I feel like a sniper. I feel like I'm Nova. Nova Impaler Ops. <laughs> and uh, hilariously, Nova was the bad unit. Because in the campaign, obviously, the Lurker is very, very, very poor. It's only got six range as opposed to the 11 of the Tosh. Which means that he has horrible, or it's terrible area coverage. Ow, ow, ow. So let me consume. I have no one to consume. <laughs> I thought that I saw a consume restore my HP, but then I haven't had uh, the opportunity to double check. And my HP regeneration is wicked fast, as people from the 1980s would say. Did a little snippy snipe. Perfect. Our allies are being attacked. These guys are doing their... <laughs> the tour bus is just constantly failing. <laughs> oh, he's trying his best. I'm really excited for the Ursodons, though. I think that's where it's going to be good. Not Ursodons, um, Quilgore. The Quilgore, I think, are going to be the thing that really brings it together for us. Obviously, we're going to have to nuke the production here. Uh, make sure specifically that the starports go down, because even though we're one-shotting the Ravens, they still, they're even in the base mission, they are such a threat to, like, one-shot you. Uh, not one-shot you, but, you know, they creep up on you, and then everything around just turns around and snaps you into oblivion. I don't want to deal with that, particularly as an Impaler, who's got a lot less mobility. So... We're going to take down the Raven production, and I think we win once that happens. Our allies are being attacked. I am very glad that the Ursodon... It seems to be that they send the same number of Ursodons as they would normally send Marines. And that's why we have any hope here, is because obviously one Ursodon with 125 HP and an armor is far superior to anything else that we would be getting uh, with Marines. They just wouldn't do anything comparatively. Hey, this was an easy one. Nice. It turns out that the one-shotting of Ravens is very good, even if it's energy intensive. Who would have guessed? What's up, Hell's Angel? You got re-rolled into a... Uh, was it a destroyer? Yeah, you got re-rolled into a destroyer, nerd. Now I'm going to re-roll you into a prisoner. All right, boys. Start driving your Quilgore. It's going to be like the Mooma kill in Lord of the Rings. Get on top of them. All right, how many nukes do we get? Hmm. I think we might just use a nuke. Right oh, gosh. It's going to be really hard to slip through here, isn't it? I don't like that one bit. Because usually we're cloaked, but this time we're not for a lot of it. Ooh, ooh, those snipes hit hard too. Okay, consume. And yeah, we got a burst of HP back. There's so many ghosts. Perfect. Take down some SCVs. There we go. We did a lot of damage right there. And we can do big con- No, we cannot. <laughs> He's too far away. Here, hit this building, try to get the SCVs to come over. Knock that down. Oh, no, no, we gotta get out of here. Yeah, I don't like those ravens already. I'm very scared. Boom, boom. Take down the detection. And we're making good time. That's the important bit here. 
cowards. So these uh these have 250 HP, right? So they almost fully restore our energy when we consume them. So we're definitely going to do that. Yeah, because it does half the life, but we get two energy per. So, yeah, 250. That's math. Ow, ow, ow. I mean, the shield is good, at least. Oh, these are going to chain snipe. There's a raven. Oh, gosh, we could die right here. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> I was going to run. I chose not to. I think it was the right decision. Okay, now we're going to take the moment. Oh, are we immune to... Oh, I guess they just don't have concussive on this mission. And then we are not light, so we don't care too much about the Reapers. And one of the things that's actually... <laughs> one of the things that's actually very nice here is that... If our nukes don't even land perfectly, which they will here, but the other side can be a bit sketch. We do have the long range impaler tentacle to finish things off. All right, that might get repaired. I hope it doesn't. This is the perfect time to be burrowed. I hope that dies. We're gonna have to wait for them to come in with a big thing. <laughs> uh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. We're fine. Don't worry about it. Shields up. Go, 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 go. I feel like I have to be a lot more stealthy than normal, which is actually kind of fun. <laughs> oh, wait. The starport's not where I thought it was. This is a very convenient location. We're fine. We can actually make sure we blast those two, and then there'll be zero production whatsoever, and we can just take this down. Yeah, easy. One down. And move that a little bit this way. Don't nuke ourselves. There we go. Now, this is going to be a little bit annoying. Our Wait. Ascendants don't hit air. Ursodons don't hit air. Infested military transports don't hit anything. <laughs> oh, gosh. Battlecruise is going to be fun. It's... <laughs> Mind Blast and a Quelgor Dream. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, consume? Shield? <laughs> We're fine. Uh, this is, uh, not gonna be an easy little final bit, is it? We're gonna sit here and try to slowly poke this guy down. Thank goodness the Thors don't move. That is... This is very good for us, and thank goodness for that healing. It does seem like the mod maker did some serious testing on this mission to make sure that things weren't... Oh, actually, Mind Blast just does a lot of damage. I'll take it. And because there's no more ravens that can be physically built, we should be able to just get in here and start taking everything down very safely. We choose when the danger appears at this point. Even if we can't do stuff like just run up here. So I think that I want to support this Quilgor as much as I can. See if we can get Jackson's Revenge to move forward. No, I don't think so. We're still a ways away from Jack. Ooh, ooh, go up there. That's cool. Hey, look, they're getting him. Yo, that's awesome. It didn't work. But it is neat. It's very neat. Uh, yeah, we're gonna eat you. What does that do? It okay. We're gonna try our best here. I do kind of feel like I'm being camped. Take down that on this side. Uh, ate the wrong guy. But when the tanks are done. Jackson is kind of running up here like a dumb dumb. Love. Nope, come on back like a dumb dumb. Please. Okay, well. 
He got his GED. He's a little bit smarter now. Let's do this. And then we stun. Stun? Uh, okay. We gotta... Keep the stuns going. No, Quilgore! They don't want to fight stunned units. They don't like it. <laughs> we learned that earlier, and it's still true. <laughs> but it makes life very difficult. So... Stun everything there. No! Just fight! Please! <laughs> it's so aggressive. It only It's like an honorable Quilgore. It only wants to fight things that will fight back. That's not really... It's not helpful. <laughs> and you guys are not helpful either. You have so much energy. And you have nothing you can do with it. I guess if we stun the... Please, just, ah. I stun it so they can help. The way that it works with Jim is because he sieges up tanks a lot of the time. It's not a bad uh, setup because he won't unsiege. He'll just keep going. There we go. When there's nothing else to distract in range, the Quilgore is the destroyer. And we can stun. I don't really care if it shoots Ascendants. We did it. The Dominion has been defeated. Rainer's Raiders. I cannot believe how effective these sandbags have been, actually. They're like, the most impressive part of the defenses here has just been sandbags. But we got it. So what comes out of here? I guess uh, it's a unique Spectre model. It's not like the normal one, right? So it's not going to be Quilgore or something, or Lurkers. No. So, uh, to finish off this mission, I apologize for the technical difficulties halfway through, by the way. But to finish everything off, let's look at our options, head to the thingy thing, and then uh, grab armory upgrades and laboratory upgrades. So, first off is the bridge, where I believe that our only two options are going to be... Yes, Valhalla on the Destroyer, which is the... This is the first Odin mission. Or... Typhon, which is Supernova, for the Winged Nightmare. Uh, so give it your choice there. And then at the Armory, we have Impaler. Unit gains a temporary shield upon creation, equal to 50% maximum life. Damage is dealt to energy before life. Okay. Yeah, so it gains energy. Energy is used as a shield. Uh, detected units evade 20% of incoming attacks. That is, uh, that's a Wraith upgrade. It's very average. It's super RNG. 25% movement speed on the Zeus lander. That's, uh, that's pretty good. I think I'm going to grab that right now. And 30% shields. Ew, maybe when we get to Maw of the Void, we might have to use this. But I don't think we need it right, right now. Instead, I want to get to the point where we can actually use the infested. So I'm going to, I'm going to do that. This is such a weird upgrade. 25% attack and movement speed for five seconds. I wonder if it counts when the transport dies. Because then, okay, yeah, let's try that. Then we could fill it with actual infested Terran, and then when it dies, it plops them out, and they get stimmed. <laughs> that would be interesting. They're not that expensive now that we have mules, so I think that's okay. And then finally, we're going to look at the laboratory. We're going to get some upgrades, and then we, uh, because we did Mobius Factor, that means that I am going to off-screen do the Sinister Turn, which is three Protoss and three Zerg Research, meaning that we now will have to pick between modular SCVs. SCVs have increased stats, receive armory upgrades from basic units. So damage and life is doubled, also benefit from the armory upgrades for basic units. Huh. Marine, Hellion, and Viking replacements. <laughs> Ooh, that is, that is very interesting. Uh, if someone wants to make a list of what all those upgrades are, that would be really helpful. I appreciate. And then Nidus Network. SCVs can now construct Nidus Network. Uh, those are both very interesting. I have a feeling I know which way that one's going to go. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And I will see you tomorrow. Peace.